rtfc.bakenicecream.com. What is going on, everybody? We'll see if uh, how many uh, people might be stopping in and joining in. This is Rich, or Retro Rich, as uh, many of you may have known me. Um, <clears throat> so as you see right behind me here, we've got a At Games Legends Ultimate Cabinet. And um, we're going to put this bad boy together. So um, there's going to be a lot of like me moving away from Mike and like all that kind of stuff. I'm going to keep an eye out on the uh, chat there. I got the chat there on my screen. So if you guys uh, have something for me, go ahead and hop in. Um, just uh, we'll do a little, little uh, recap here. We'll, we'll check this out. <clears throat> um, it is the, like I said, the At Games Legends Ultimate Cabinet. We've got a full-size cabinet with 300 built-in games, including Sunipede, Star, Star, uh, Space Invaders, Tetris, The Lion King, Tron, and more, uh, which is pretty cool. It boasts online multiplayer, leader, leaderboards, and new content. We're going to yeah, I'll be checking that out maybe uh, a little later, um, if we can get this thing uh, all built and turned on, of course, and in time. Additional games and options via ArcadeNet. BYOG, which stands for Bring Your Own Game, and APL, which I don't know what that is. So we're going to figure out what that is. Um, a uh, got 24-inch uh, HD display and stereo speakers, and also says Easy Assembly. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's like in bold. It's like, it's easy. So well, we'll see. We'll see how easy it is. Um, anyway, um, let's... Uh, Let's quit this yapping and uh, get to opening this bad boy and uh, see what's going on. All right, cool. Got my trusty, uh, my trusty guy right here. box says right here this way up to pull out so I mean I guess uh, I don't know if I'm gonna have to lay it down and then pull out it's got like straps in here so I guess I'm gonna have to do that <laughs> What's going on, Rab? Yeah, it looks uh, looks like uh, maybe some early gifts are happening here. Um, sit down for a second while I'm <clears throat> taking out the uh, the trusty 
uh, mover's blanket. We're gonna lay this down. Um, so this, this cab thing actually is a, uh, a kind of cool story. Um, I've been hunting slash saving uh, for something like this for a incredibly long time. Um, it's, uh, it's been, I don't know, probably five, six years of just like hunting and looking for things. And it just so happens that I had the exact amount saved for this particular um, cabinet. Um, incredible deal, by the way. Like, absolutely incredible deal. Um, got it at Sam's Club. It was only $4.99 uh, this weekend. So, and I've already looked online. Um, online, they're selling out, but they have them, like, locally at the stores. Um, but $4.99 for, like, a full-size cab, um, that's incredible. Because, you know, some of these other um, one-up cabs, they're around three ninety nine or two ninety nine, um, and they're only like, uh, what is it, like a two thirds cab or something like that, two thirds size, um, crazy. But anyway, it was a crazy cool deal. Um, I've been saving for this for a while. Um, last year, I had my fortieth birthday, um, and a whole bunch of people chipped in uh, to give towards the cabinet, <clears throat> which was really awesome. Greatly appreciated for everyone that may be watching this now or later. Um, that uh, contributed to this. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, and uh, but uh, but anyway, I just couldn't pass it up. I couldn't pass up the deal. Um, my wife uh, helped find it. Um, she was. We were actually looking at Sam's Club because the the baby's coming, and um, and we need stuff like we need a place to go get formula and like that kind of stuff. Also, pro tip: if you're having a young one and you need baby formula, uh, Sam's Club, Costco. They basically have uh, the same stuff as Similac, only it's like half the price. Um, definitely like certified good times. Go and get that stuff uh, for your little ones. Um, it's, uh, it's awesome. Douglas was on uh, that for his entire uh, you know, young, young youth, and um, you know, it's really good stuff. But anyway, <clears throat> um, getting back to the cab. Like I said, been saving up for this for a while. Um, seems to have all the features that I'm looking for, um, at least for right now, and especially for the price. Um, so, uh, you know, we're going to continue digging in on here. What's what we got here? Yeah, yeah, they need no riser. Right. Yep. Um, yeah, I mean, seriously, right. You know, credit where credit's due. Um, well, we're going to find out, right. Um, I've heard that sometimes, uh, the way that they package them, uh, some of these pieces came in, they, they, they might've been broken a little or snapped or something like that. So I don't know. Um, you know, like, like I said, we're going to find out, but, um, let me, uh, let me get this blanket down and I'll, we'll continue opening this bad boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Finger definitely keep those fingers crossed. I don't want to hear. I don't want to see any of the uh, these parts broken or anything. Saw some pictures online, people uh, grabbing this stuff, and you know, then they have an opening, and they're like, "Oh, well, this piece is broken. This piece, like some of them were actually snapped like straight in half and stuff." Um, but on the uh, Sam's Club site, they actually said. Um, at games came in and then we're like, oh yeah, just email us. So if anything is unfortunately broken, um, it might stop the build uh, right in that tracks for tonight. But at least I know I'll be able to get the parts and get it all good to go. Ooh. They packed it pretty well though. <clears throat> all right. Got all these straps here everywhere. And then if it's not straps, it's these, they got these uh, shrink wrap parts. Uh, 
ye old color coded things here. You got your C's and your D's and all that out of front stuff. <clears throat> like I said, I mean, it's actually not too bad. He's looking like the, uh, the side panels where the feet go or um, maybe where the controls rest or something like that. <clears throat> so we're here for right now. Alright, what else we got here? Looks like that's the controller bay. Alright. What else we got? Oh. Do I see a brother Mike in there? Build that arcade. Yes, I do. What's up, brother Mike? What's going on? Yeah, we're trying. We're going to try to get this thing built. Oh, what's up, Pip? That's, uh, that's my buddy Pippin. Yeah, I don't know if you can help me too much, buddy. Why don't you go and lay down? All right, what do we got here? Is that the hardware? All right. Hardware pieces. Good times. Be diving into that in a second. Of course, uh, they say the only the only tool you'll need is a uh, one of these guys here. You got a Phillips, and then on the other side, um, you need a uh, a flathead somewhere too. Um, looking at these here, I can confirm that there are indeed things that need. Uh, I mean, this is pretty much mostly. Uh, hand turn, um, uh, what do call it? Uh, Phillips screws. So um, it does say you need a fill, uh, a flathead though. So we'll we'll find out where where that goes. <clears throat> oh. Got this all in one piece here. It's the controller. Let's check this bad boy out here. I don't know if you guys can see that. This is uh, this is pretty radical right here. You got your your trackball here. You got your spinners. Those feel really solid, actually. You got some nice click action here in the sticks. Player one, player two. Um, I guess this is a rewind button, power button, AXB. Nice clicky, nice clicky buttons here, right? It's actually it's actually pretty good. So. We're going to put this over here for now, because I'm sure that doesn't go back together until later. And I'll take a look at the connectors and such uh, in a bit too, after we get that there. Ye old instruction manual. Um, let's see here. We got here. Yeah, it says right there. Need a Phillips. Need a straight head. Uh, parts: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Uh, Fourteen times two. So it doesn't really look like there's a whole lot of parts uh, to do. So it could be pretty good. It could be pretty interesting. So anyway, all right. We'll get on with this. Yeah, yeah, trackball and spinners, man, right? Like, it's pretty, it's pretty rad. All right. Here is the yield power brick. 
It's actually just like uh, one of their old, one of their other out games, like uh, actual things. You know, their uh, flashback consoles. I mean, it's a it's a standard power brick. Let's see what kind of power this is going through. It's a 12 volt adapter, so I mean, it's definitely got some some power going through it. So we'll put that to the side. What else we got in this box? Oh, the S7 kit. This right here. This right here is an add-on kit. This uh, kit right here is the actual. Um, these are the uh, the buttons for the pinball kit. So these actually are um, are extra. They come extra only when you get them at Sam's Club. Um, you can order it separately. You can order this kit separately, um, but you have to like charge. You have to pay extra for it. Um, but when you get it at Sam's, uh, it comes with it. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's see what we got here. Alright, this is the, the bad boy right here. Alright. Then there's the, the official the official deal. What else we got here? Uh okay, yeah, backlight, spaceport theme, carpet, not included. <laughs> yes. Yes, um, and uh, yeah, Heimlich, um, that's why I don't get all digital name cabinets, yeah, no assembly manuals, nice, nice. All right, so anyway, we got this, uh, I guess this is the PAs de Resistance, right? See, there's some wires in here. There's like a USB cable lead. There's a USB cable that goes into this thing here. Uh, this is the power. I'm sure this is the power extension that goes to the unit. And then uh, there's a little uh, five pin. Uh, there's a five pin connector here. I'm sure this is the uh, the connector that goes to the controller. <clears throat> And there we have it, folks, right here. This is the front of the machine. I don't know if uh, you guys can see this or whatever, but um, this is pretty this is pretty rad. Got some cool, like, uh, Tronish uh, looking stuff going on here. It's pretty neat. Um, so the other things, um, the other things that are kind of cool, I can't even, I can't really like show you or get it too close. It's a little heavy, but um, there's an HDMI port right on the bezel, which is pretty cool for like connecting like consoles and stuff. Um, two USB ports, one USB 3 and one USB 2, and uh, then there's like a channel connector, and, a, and it looks like that switches between the arcade machine itself and the um, whatever you got plugged into that HDMI, which is cool. So. Um, it says somewhere, somewhere on, online I read that you can actually pass through the HDMI, uh, to a console. So you can actually like get this thing hooked up, hook it up to a 360, um, an Xbox one, a, uh, PS4, um, something like that, and actually pass through the controls to the HDMI. I don't know like how or, or if that is actually the case, but some people have actually verified that that works. So. Um, I'm probably going to be checking that out later because, um, man, if I could do that and hook up my, my PS4 and, uh, I got like, I've got all Mar Marvelous Capcoms from download for PS3 and PS4. Um, and I have Ultimate, um, I've got, uh, you know, Mortal Kombat, like all that kind of stuff. If I could be doing that, that would be pretty sweet. So anyway, <clears throat> let me get some of this, uh, stuff cleaned up and out of my way and we'll start, uh, proceeding with the build. We're, we're going to continue with the build. What's going on, Andy? HDK? Saw you there in the uh, in the chat. There. How's it going? How's it going?
I do also want to thank everybody that is uh, chilling with us uh, tonight um, for actually clicking on the button and uh, coming on in and hanging out with me. Um, I do really appreciate it. This is the first live stream I've done in a very, very long time. We used to do uh, used to do live streams all the time. Me and me and Eric um, would do live streams to do uh, Team RTFC stuff. We do you know live games of Transformers TCG. Um, R.I.P. R.I.P. to the TCG. But um, <clears throat> but yeah, so we, we would hang out and, and do that kind of stuff and uh, chill with people who came in. But um, you know. Let me guys know. You know, let, let me guys, let me know if you guys are actually uh, down with this kind of stuff, and um, you know maybe even want to do some more inspections of stuff that's going on in the uh, the wide world of this arcade machine. And um, yeah, I'll throw on some cameras. Um, we got a whole bunch of stuff in the studio that we can move around. So. Of course, Pippin just loves loves himself some uh, things to lay on. All right. Looks like these are the back panels. Let's get this stuff out of my way. Also, hope you guys uh, Thanksgiving holiday has been good for you. It's been relaxing over here. I'm just kind of winding down, getting ready for baby time. As we go further, um, just throwing it out there to the chat. Um, can you guys like see and hear okay? I think um, I think we're doing all right. Just let me know. Hit me up in there. You know, if you want me to mess around with stuff or stuff's too loud, too soft. If I get too far away from the mic, you know, that kind of stuff. <clears throat> Man, they really they really love. This, uh, these yellow strip things. It's kind of weird. <clears throat> so these are officially the back panels. Um, yeah, the back panel and then a front. Oh, look at this. This is pretty cool. All right. <clears throat> Check this out. This is pretty cool. It's got a, a cool little thing here. See if I can angle it. I gotta, I gotta wait for the uh, delay here because I can't actually see um, if, uh, if everything's there or not, but uh, that's pretty cool. You got like Space Invaders here, you got Missile Command, Millipede, Disney the Lion King, Disney the Aladdin, Asteroids, Bubble Bottle, Burning Rubber, which is pretty cool. Nice stuff. Burger Time Centipede, Super Star Wars Trilogy, which is neat. I love those games. They're they're hard as balls, but they're they're pretty good. Uh, Tetris, Tron, Joe and Mac, um, which we were actually just talking about on the uh, the Evercast. That was pretty cool. And then I fixed it, Felix uh, Jr. I played that in the arcade. There was a they got an arcade cabinet in uh, Yestercades in Red Bank, New Jersey. Um, I play that uh, all the time when I go over there. But uh, my my game, <clears throat> my official arcade game of all time is Hard Driving. Love that game. Actually, you want to like. Uh, Grab a uh, one of those world record type dealies if I can in that game one day. One day I will get it. Pretty good at it. Um, actually, for a little bit I had the main uh, the main arcade score, which is weird. Um, I used to do that on uh, Twin Galaxies. I got Mame to run. <clears throat> I 
think I got the award because I actually got the, got the game to actually run. But um, I had the score for like two or three years, um, which is pretty cool. Oh, HDK, this was uh, $4.99 US at the um, Sam's Club only, um, which was not bad. Um, so, <clears throat> you know, for $4.99, like you just, you just couldn't beat that deal. Um, and uh, it looks like it's only in store. So if like your store's got them in stock, they're probably trying to clear them out or something like that. But um, but anyway, that's it. So not not bad. <clears throat> All right, so let's see where I got to start here. Start assembling. They want me to start with these side panels here. <clears throat> I guess this is the part where the the thing rests on top of it. All right, and then I got to put these uh, you know those like IKEA screws. <clears throat> I'll, put a, I'll get one of these out here and show you guys. <clears throat> you know those like IKEA looking like uh, furniture screws? I got to pull a whole lot of these in in these parts here real quick. <clears throat> so that'll be that'll be fun. Come on, you gotta move. You gotta move, buddy. Ah, oh, thank heavens! Thank heavens! Thank heavens! Thank heavens! They put <clears throat> embedded. They actually in, embedded uh, threaded screws inside of these. So it's not like you're just trying to like dig right into particle board. Um, they actually have the the uh, threaded screws inside. Now that, in and of itself, because I've I've built so many of, of like you know furniture and like that kind of stuff in the past, um, that right there gets a thumbs up from me, because um, it's going to make it so much easier to actually put these things together. Because um, <clears throat> I don't know if you've ever put that uh, IKEA type furniture together. Um, those things could be an absolute nightmare to get in straight, for sure. And to have them all pre-threaded with actual metal inside, um, that's a huge plus in my book. All right. Okay. So there's that. So. All right. So there's a A side and a and a B side. And then they all have these like threaded grooves that I'm imagining you build uh, the, the side part of the cabinet, um, like the, the side here where you got the, the artwork and like that kind of stuff and you slide them in here. Um, so I think that's where we're going with that. But let's take a look at the manual and see where I have to go with these things. <clears throat> yeah, they do indeed want me to put them in the threaded angles um, of these in four designated slots, well, eight designated slots on each side. <clears throat> and that's what the, uh, the uh, Phillips head. <clears throat> so it says, Triton, use a Phillips, put the cam bolt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the cam lock, step C. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah, I know, but what is the part you have to put in? Oh, they want the cam locks on these uh, <clears throat> the C pieces down here. All right, cool, that's fine. We're getting this done. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're going in. <clears throat> All right. This would be two up here, two down there, two down there, two down there. All right, cool. Looking good. Looking good. All right. So how are you guys doing? You guys doing uh, doing okay in the uh, the lands of the internet? You guys chilling? Hopefully playing some games, or watching some games, doing something while you're listening to me put to put this little thing together. So we'll see we'll see what happens here. <clears throat> All right. They do warn uh, careful not to over tighten. But with these things, they're, like I said, they're kind of self-threading. So you don't really have to go too hard. Um, you will find 
that it will naturally end. So that is not bad. Mm. Oh, Go Game Go replied on Twitter. That's pretty cool. Hopefully he'll stop in and say hi. Someone send him the link. And be like, yeah, stop in and say hi. Those guys are awesome. Jeff and Stu. Their, their streams are pretty great. By the way, like, I mean, I know it's it's Brother Mike and HTK and Rad and I don't know who else is in here. But um, if, if you do not know who the original Next, no Next Level Gaming is or HTK or Rab for that matter, um, you go right now and you click on their names and you go to their channels and you hit that sub button because they're awesome people. They're good times. <clears throat> I constantly feel bad though for, uh, for Brother Mike because uh, Thursday nights are hard. <laughs> Thursday nights are hard to get in there and, uh, and watch you guys. Um, there's always so much going on because it's like getting towards the end of the week for me. Um, but anytime I get in there and watch their streams, oh man, they're good. They're, they're so good. It's all, it's all fun. And they talk, they, talk great, they talk great stuff and they're really, really, really knowledgeable about their stuff. And oh man, Retro Advisory Board, whew. If you're, if you're in just for some good, like awesome gaming related um like documentary style stuff oh man he is he is something else that guy he's good he's he's also good times um and then every once in a while you see them all on the uh amico all access hanging out with oebp he's probably eating right now hopefully he'll come in and stop and say stop by and say hi of course i'll probably be here for i don't know better part of a another half hour putting this thing together so with some time to get some more people in here and say hi and banter wonder if uh wonder if my buddy chris will show up that's uh chris call from the atari creep himself it's also another fine channel on the interwebs <clears throat> all right let's see what we got here One of my brother-in-laws was supposed to come and hang out and help me out, but I don't know. I don't know where he is. He's probably asleep, because that's sometimes his M.O. That's all right, though. It's all good. He works hard. He does, he does indeed work hard. So. <clears throat> Let's see. Not bad at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, not bad at all for the amount of games. Well, and it, here's the other thing, too. That BYOG thing, that bring your own games um, thing that they say, that USB port, I've confirmed multiple reports online that if you happen to have other At Games products that um, that utilize USB, like those, uh, those blast uh, controller things or whatever, you plug these right in... Um, They'll recognize all the ROMs, and then you can use the controller with it. Um, so I've got the Activision Blast. I got it for five bucks at Walmart, um, which was a stellar deal. And it's got all thirty of the like top tier Activision Atari Twenty Six Hundred games. So like that's pretty sweet. You hook this thing up, and that'd be awesome. The only thing that I wish, I mean, and who's gonna make a cabinet with that just for like people like? like, you know, you and me stream, streaming people, um, is if this thing had an HDMI out or something like that, I could capture stuff. Oh, man, I'd use this cab controller setup uh, to do so much capture. It'd be awesome. Because um, there's certain games you just want to play with, like, the the rotating discs and, like, that kind of stuff. So, you know, you could be sitting there playing, like, Warlords or, uh, or Arkanoid or something like that, you know, and you've got the actual spinner. Oh, there's nothing like it. It's another reason why I'm excited about getting this thing together. Do, 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 do. 
it was one of those things that I want to do <clears throat> after I get this all together and get this put together and all that. Um, I'll probably put it up online and I'll, uh, you know, this, this live stream, I'll probably take it down and then edit it. And then I'll do a whole bunch of stuff where I'll, like, I'll edit the video together and then, um, I'll put it all, um, maybe I'll put the, like the Benny Hill theme or something like that and do it, do it like triple speed or something. Cause I'm sure this is riveting, riveting online content for you guys, but, um, but it is pretty cool. Would have been more helpful if Keith was here helping me out. It's all good though. All right. So we are on to the next part where we're putting the cams in to number C. See if we can see him. See if we can see that lazy pups sitting there. See him? He's just chilling. He's like, I've had enough today. I'm just laying down. I don't know what's going on. There's lights everywhere. He's just, he's just chilling. He's my buddy though. Love that dog. <clears throat> All right. So it's cam time. <laughs> Just, just straight up flopped over. <laughs> oh, it's so fun. He's a fun dog. <clears throat> All right. Now these cams sit in a little loose, so I'm not too sure about that. Uh, dude, this didn't show up on my YouTube feed. Found it on Facebook. Thing. Oh, thanks, Airbors. Yeah, it's kind of weird, right? Um, I don't know. It's so some sometimes the stuff shows up like oddly, um, and maybe it was because I had it set to like Premiere, where it would only have it would only inform you whether or not you were uh, a subscriber or something like that. Uh, ZX Renew. How much was this cab? It was at Sam's Club for four ninety nine US, um, which I think was a great deal. Um, you know, considering everything that's in the package, it's like pretty great. Also, Herb Wars and and ZX Re uh, Renew, uh, welcome, welcome to the channel, welcome to the, the video. Um, thanks for coming in and hanging out. You guys are not already familiar with our stuff. I mean, you know, when this is all over, check us out. We got some cool stuff. There's definitely going to be more content about this uh, cabinet for sure. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to do something and uh, and get some of that stuff going online. All right, so got the cams in. Oh, got cams in these pieces too. We got D and C. And all of those are supposed to go in that one. And that's supposed to go in there. Slide that, slide that. Lock them in. All right. This is actually, this might, this part might actually get together really, really quick. Because um, it's looking like you do the, the cam locks on this, on this here. You put the, you slide these pieces in. And then, um, and then it looks like it might just be, you know, make sure your cables aren't getting ganked when you put it on. And then just slide that on top. And this is just going to be a little base, which is kind of cool. So that's pretty, that'd be pretty easy. <clears throat> Hopefully it's not too much of a uh, team lift uh, scenario. Oh, Herbors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to check my Sam's Club here in New Jersey. Um, I have 10 one arcade one-ups. Um, but the Ultimate Legends too. Okay, cool. Awesome. Uh, I mean, I want the Ultimate Legends. Okay, cool. Well, um, I am also in, uh, New Jersey, Herb Wars, um, in the, uh, center of the state in the Somerset County. Um, I can tell you for a fact, Edison, New Jersey, 
um, a little little down below, like the about 20 minute drive uh, from where I am. Edison, New Jersey had these in stock um, when I uh, came and picked up mine, and I picked up mine today. So if you're in that area, head on over to the uh, to the Sam's and grab yourself one before they go. <clears throat> All right, wait, last <clears throat> last little guy here. That's cool, though. They have the collection of all the... Uh, you said you just had 10? 10, 10 arcade one-ups? Man, that's awesome. That must be, like, one impressive... Uh, one impressive game room. Do you have, like, a... Do you have a video on your channel or whatever and you like, show your game room off? Because that'd be cool. That's really neat. Um, I know a lot of people... Um, you, sometimes you use those in the background of their videos. You know, they just have, like, a whole wall of them and stuff. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> I've, I will... Well, likely, um, as you see where the box is, um, and you see where um, half of my Superman guy is there right there, um, if you guys can't tell, that's probably where <laughs> mine is going to. Um, I'm going to put that in a prominent area so I, can, so I can share it with people in the backgrounds and stuff like that. South Jersey. I actually live last town of New Jersey. Oh, Cape May. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know Cape May. Um, get, went down there a couple times for, uh, like vacations and stuff. It's like, it's really nice, uh, really nice kind of like sea country down there. It's, it's good. It's good stuff. Yeah. That's, um, probably three and a half plus hours from where I am right now. But, um, but there's gotta be a Sam's that's close to you. Um, yeah. And I'm, and I'm sure, uh, they might have some in stock. Haven't done a video in a while. Maybe we'll do an arcade tour. Yeah. Yeah, do it. If you if you do, let me know. Hit me up on uh, on Twitter. It's a uh, link young at link young ps. I'm sure I have it somewhere in you know, whatever. Maybe I'll update the uh, I'll update the description of this video. Or whatever. Just just hit me up. Um, if you do that video, I'd love to see it. Um, cool, 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 cool. All right. This is the part where I have to bother the dog. He's out cold, and I've got to like. I gotta like put this stuff down so I can like put the thing together. <clears throat> That's what happens. You put the you put the uh, you put the carpet down to uh, to make sure that the part of car particle board doesn't get scratched, and your buddy man will just just hang out on it. <laughs> All right, so D, D towards the top with the things inward. All right, D towards the top with the things inward. C, um, C this way. Cams, basically. D is these facing inwards. Okay, I got this here. Yes, he is. He is being very helpful. This this buddy man. Hey guys, this is uh, it's today. My wife saying hi to the internet. Okay. 
All right. Cool. So we got that. What else we got here? Oh, thanks. Thanks, man. Yeah, I've been uh, collecting in television now for, I don't know, the better part of a year or two. Um, I had some from a long time ago, but I actually went in earnest effort to try to get the, uh, the boxed stuff, uh, the, the CIB stuff. Um, bought a couple of those, you know, like bulk stuff uh, on eBay and put together uh, some cool stuff. But um, I got a, a game store that's close, be, close to me too, uh, Retro Classics in Somerville, New Jersey. Um, he's got a really good selection too, and I've been picking up, you know, like onesie twosie guys from there. Uh, it's pretty cool. All right, so what's what we got here? So E gets slotted in here now. And then we put that on top. And then I guess we put the cans cans in and lock them up. Do we want do we want, does, does it say to lock them in? Okay. okay. Yeah, so it wants me to lock them up now. So I'm going to go ahead and lock them up. Um, and then, uh, you know, I'll be back. <clears throat> This is where you gotta check those cams, because uh, if you're not dead on uh, on placement, it's not gonna fit onto the. Uh, it's not gonna fit onto there. Now they are kind of loose on this, so I'm not exactly like real happy about the fact that they're so loose, but I mean, I guess there's really nothing you can do about that. E and is this is E so all right what we got here so E goes like this and goes straight in okay so. okay that's in straight down on the camps 
So I just got to check the cams real quick, make sure that they're actually in line before I put the heavy bit back on. All right, looking good. It is getting there. It is. Uh, what's the first game you're going to try out? Oh, that's a good question, man. I don't know. Um, probably Burning Rubber, because I really like that. Like, I'm, I'm a huge uh, Bumper Jump fan, so I'll probably try that out. And then I'll probably go back and, you know, hunt down games that use, like, each individual, uh, one of the, um, one of the control types. I'll play something that's going to use the, uh, the rollerball. I'll play something that's going to use the spinner, um, you know, that kind of thing. Damn, keeps falling out. Okay. Looks like Pippin found something to woo at. Looking like that's the base right there, getting in there. Okay, that's that. What else we got here? Okay. All right. Now I will say this thing is made out of cart out of particle board, but I will say this also: it is actually not too bad to move around. You know, I can move all these pieces around, and um, you know, it's it's actually it's not too bad. It doesn't it doesn't hurt. It doesn't you know it's not too heavy. Um, you can do this solo. 
I'm sure all over the manual it's like team lift, do all the stuff. But, yeah. All right. It's pretty. Uh, it's pretty ba baracus in here. It's pretty cool. All right, so that has some screw holes that um, we can fit some stuff in there, and we will do so. Um, that's pretty neat. Um, all right, so there's that. There's that. All right. Yeah, definitely put in the screw holes. S3. It doesn't say anything about doing it in the front, but the screw holes are here, so. Slide, F and G. Oh, okay, it just it just says it doubles. It's in there, but it, it says to, to put in the things, but it just says to double it. So anyway, that's fine. Oh, now remember, again, this is, this is particle board, um, so, uh, so don't forget, um, hand tightening these only. Don't, don't be putting a power drill to this, because that'd be uh, no, no bueno, no bueno. Pete, what's going on? What's going on, man? Building a cab. Oh, yeah, F Felix Jr. is cool. Yeah, definitely, definitely, so definitely good stuff. So I got to go to the uh, OEB Pete school of doing live streams on uh, StreamYard and stuff um, because next time I do something like this where I have to like build something or do something like that, um, I would totally love to do this in StreamYard and then just like invite people in so that way people can talk while, while I'm doing all the stuff. You can't hear me. <laughs> but um, all right, let's see. Um, hey, Pete. I ate way too much homemade pizza. Oh, yeah. That'd be good stuff. That'd be good stuff. Oh, yes, you sure do. You sure do, Brother Mike C. Tron. Right there on the panel, right there on the bottom. Heck, yeah, you do. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to be getting into that stuff. Um, all right, cool. So now it's time to do the somewhat heavy lift lifting. I'm going to ask the dog for support. And, um, yeah, we're going we're gonna to get this done. <clears throat> Nope, sorry. First, I gotta do the screws on the other side. <laughs> Playing Swotor. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yeah, I, I think I made a character once in Swotor. Just, you know, just like, you know, the basic. Um, it might have been even the beta, and then I never really got into it. Um. <clears throat> Isn't it like a, is it like quasi free to play now, Pete?
Let's see here. Uh, should switch over to MMO stuff. Nice. Um, oh, it is. It is. So, yeah, so it is kind of quasi free to play. Yeah, I got to check it out. I got to do that. And I th I'm pretty sure that's that's like PC only, right? It's pretty, pretty much perfect where I want it. It's awesome. That looks pretty sweet. That definitely looks pretty cool. <clears throat> so I'm gonna pull it out, put it a little closer to me, so I can uh, fit the last couple screws in here, and then we'll uh, we'll put in all the other stuff. Here, give me a second here. Yeah, the cab is, is actually not, it's not horrible to move. It really isn't. All right, so H, S5, S5. All right, so the cool thing is, guys, on the back of this thing, um, you've got... I mean, it's, super, it's gonna be super hard to see, but <clears throat> right here, where my finger is, is actually a, um, a standard uh, uh, Cat5, Cat6 port uh, for Ethernet, and there's your power adapter. Um, which is actually like, it's super, super easy. Um, everything else is nice and clean. Um, so, I mean, I'm not too worried about power draw on this thing. Um, so you probably could just, you know, leave it, leave it attract mode for a while and not really, really bang up your, your electric bill. Mm. Putting these screws on here. Oh, those are those other threads. Uh, I bet you, I bet you that's um, those are those clear screw holes. I know, I know how they're doing this. That's pretty cool. All right, what do we got? Herb Wars. Downloaded on Xbox Live. Oh, nice. 
That's pretty cool. It's good stuff. All right. All right, now it's time to go and grab the controller. All right. <clears throat> so, we got right here some interesting stuff on the controller itself. So, here's the controller. For those of you who did not see <coughs> before, um, came in later or whatever, like Pete. Um, you know, in case you wanted to see it, you got trackball, trackball right there. You got these spinners, spinny spinnies. Very, very cool. These spinners are like really, really tight. Um, metal actualization. It's not like plastic dinky stuff. Uh, that's pretty cool. And then of course, you know, your clicky buttons. Very good. Very good stuff. Um, you know, nice clicky, uh, controller. That's also very good. Um, and, uh, then on here, you got some power. So this looks like it actually can come out of the cab and then be hooked up to something on its own, uh, which is also really cool. So maybe you can actually just like, oh cool, I've got my Legends Ultimate, whatever. But upstairs I got like a system I want to use it on or you know, a computer or a Steam box or whatever. Um, you just take this bad boy upstairs and then you got a USB port right here. Um, and you got your control bus. That's definitely for the cabinet for sure. Um, your control bus for the cabinet. Um, so. Uh, that's, that's, uh, it's actually looking pretty solid stuff. And this is all solid plastic. This is all one mold. Um, so I don't know if you're getting in here to like service it or anything, um, like loose connections or all that, where I mean, they've got like tons of deep socket holes, um, that you probably take this plastic off and then actually service it. But I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think it's, I don't, it would not be something that I would, I would want to do. Let's just put it that way. Um, so let's, uh, let's hook this bad boy up. It's looking pretty cool. Very, very cool. All right, let's see what we got.
All right. Looking pretty good, right? I don't know, I think it's looking pretty BA. All right, so we got all that stuff. And then insert this. Remove L1, attach L. I don't know what L1 is. Titan. Titan S9. Oh, those are the things to prevent it from falling at you. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to have this thing fall at you. Um, all right, cool. So let's uh, let's get this other thing out. Guys still doing all right? Hanging in there? Let's see what this thing is here. Check that out. Check that out. That is cool. That's some cool side panel artwork right there. That is good. That is very good right there. You got the Star Wars. You got some uh, burning rubber, it looks like. It's got some uh, Aladdin on there. You got the Centipede guy. You got Fix a Felix. Um, you got all sorts of stuff. You the Galaga, I want to say Galaga, or the bump, you know, like a bubble bobble guy. You got that Burger Time guy. That's cool. That's really cool, right? All right, let's get this thing on here. Um, but yeah, so, so Pete, like totally, yes. Seems straightforward to put together? Absolutely. It looks, you know, like it, this, this build has been, what? What have been, what have we been going, going on there? Um, I mean, it's 1043. So it's about an hour and 15 minutes, and it was just by myself. And I, and I stopped like two or three times already to talk to you guys for like, you know, two or three minutes before I, before I went. Um, this is pretty cool. So I didn't actually get a good view of the, uh, of the artwork on online. So I was thinking, oh, well, maybe I'll just like, you know, like do something else or like, you know, print, print something on my, on my own. Um, dude, this thing is awesome. It is, it is good time. So it's going on. for a day yeah you think you think I should level it out I mean it's got the uh, it's got the screw holes so like it should it should be able to actually tighten up um, if I if I put it on I didn't say anything about laying them out either so um, it's a it's not a sticker it, you can actually just like screw it on so I don't know I think I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a whirl and see what happens. If it looks if it looks like like bunk on this side, then I, I'll take it off and I'll, I'll put it on later. These screw holes are pre are pre threaded too, so. Uh, it's supremely, 
supremely easy uh, to put in. Um, these are plastic screws um, and they're clear so you don't like get in the way of the artwork uh, which I find really nice too. Um, but definitely something you'd also don't want to over tighten either um, because if you over tighten them um, they, they're plastic so I'm sure they'll crack um, so you don't want yeah obviously you don't want to do that that's so that's so bad ass so badass it's a fun uh Fun, fun retro rich fact right here. Um, Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope um, in my top three movies of all time. And yes, I didn't mention um, I didn't mention Empire Strikes Back because A New Hope is actually my favorite Star Wars movie. Ooh, we got a whole bunch of stuff there. Um, would love to go get this at some point. Oh, cool. Thanks. Thanks, Google Game. Oh, hey, thanks for stopping in, man. Thanks for thanks for chilling with me. Um, uh, if it had the Lord of the Rings on it, it would be the greatest marquee ever. <laughs> yes. Agreed. Agreed. Good sir. Um, I love um, I love Return. Yeah, Returns Returns good. And Revenge, also, also good. But, I mean, New Hope, man. New Hope is totally this. Um, Herb Wars likes Empire the most. But, um, then Return. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, re I mean, I respect everybody's opinion on, uh, on the Star Wars. But, yes, uh, all Star Wars is good Star Wars. Definitely agree there. Um, but for sure. But for sure, man. It's a New Hope. It's a New Hope. It's the only movie in the series that's, that's complete in and of itself. You watch New Hope, beginning to end. You have a beginning, a middle, an end. The good guys win in the end. You want to see more, but you don't have to. So, <clears throat> it's good sums. All right, so we're gonna look. We're gonna see. We're gonna see how this goes. We'll leave it. We'll leave it as is. So so far, <clears throat> so far, Herb Wars might have a point. 
but also this might be one of those those deals where they put them they put these uh, marquees in the um, in the machine and then pre-drill the holes but some of the holes are like I don't know maybe like an eighth of an inch or something like that off um, so there's a little warping here and there um, one might actually need to uh, carve and move um, some of the marquee uh, in order to do that you know flattening it out like I said like, like herbores might have been right that that might have helped too but I really don't think so I really actually think that um, the pre-drill here uh, might be the culprit um, but I can I can try to finesse it and move it around and like that kind of stuff later um, I just wanted to put it together now because I want to put those buttons on I want to put the uh, you have to put the marquee thing on before you put the the um, uh, pinball buttons um, so I wanted to make sure I put them on there before uh, before I did that um, Rich where did you buy this uh, go game go I bought this at the Sam's Club in Edison New Jersey so if you guys have got a Sam's Club up in the uh, in your area I know you're in mid like the middle of the country kind of kind of area um, go to Sam's Club like run do not walk it's a $4.99 um, for this guy um, I don't know if it's on sale for the you know holiday weekend sales you know Black Friday that kind of thing but um, I mean four ninety nine is a killer deal uh, can't beat it <clears throat> and and um, and Sam's Club is the only one that comes with the um, the extras you can't get the uh, you'd have to pay the for the extra the pinball thing that I'm about to put on um, you have to pay extra uh, for that um, all right there's the there it goes. So then there's this kit here. See here? You got this uh, this guy right here. This is the pinball buttons. And then they've got like pin sets here um, that you just kind of put in um, uh, right right in in there. And then you screw that in. And it's supposed to connect. There's these little, uh, there's, there's a, you know, like uh, connectors to match. Um, so that it can it can hook up right to the thing, so you can actually get the pinball button. Um, these are your your paddle buttons, so you can be on either side of the the, uh, the table or the cabinet, I should say, and then um, and then hook it up. Let's see. Where the screws go? Right. So let's uh, let's hook them in. Hook them in, shall we? Definitely need the pinball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need the pinball buttons, right? Cause, plus, I want to make sure that it goes together fully before I start like doing fun things and modding it and all that, all that kind of stuff. Um, I want to make sure that everything works. Um, I'll test everything. I'll play a game that has pinball. I'll play the game that doesn't. I'll play the game with the spinners. I'll test literally everything over the next couple days. Because um, if I find something wrong, then um, you know you get, you get the 30 days, and then I think it's like three year or something like that, or you know one year limited manufacturers daily. Um, you know it's that game, so who knows? But uh, And then these right here, this is the um, don't fall on me uh, thing that goes up on the other side. Um, so you can hook up the thing and then tie it to your wall or whatever. Um, you know, I've got a super flat floor down here, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, but uh, eventually, uh, because it is close to that beam, I'll probably put two eye hooks and then hook it up. And, you know, it makes sure, you know, obviously, you, know, you get little kids down here running around, you don't want to. You don't want this table. They didn't want this whole thing coming down on somebody. Um, but anyway, that's for later slash tomorrow slash when I can get to Home Depot. Throw that there. All right, let's whip this around and get this stuff on the other side.
I got? Too soon? Too soon? I almost want to say this too. Um, I think this is also one of those, you know, like some of the stuff is like team lift. You know, you like should require two people to like lift and put together and stuff. Um, I think this marquee thing might be like a two man job too. Um, just so you can have somebody like pull everything taut. Um, Cause on this, on this side, I'm actually not, not seeing too much um, getting in my way. Um, although there is some stuff that is is pulling a little on here so not too sure Oh yes, 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 definitely, definitely kids to the plural. Uh, two spinners, a trackball. Yeah, yeah, no, totally does have everything you need. Go and get, go and get, go. And yes, yes. I mean, little, little man, little man coming soon. TM. Um, he's not going to be running around for a little bit anyway. Oh, and speaking of. Hello again. Oh, it's already changed. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I saw the, I saw the watch thing. I was in the middle of like tying stuff together. Yeah, talking, talking to the peoples on the internet. Yes, yes, yes. So, all right. It is pretty cool that these, you know, like they, they thought to have like put the little expansion ports to have these little things. I mean, I don't know if over time that's going to be a bad thing um, because these, uh, the, you know, I, I don't know if there's like corrosion or whatever, but, you know, then you got to hunt them down to find a, a spare part or whatever. I'm not sure. boy together and fire her up. Um, because one of two things needs to happen. I need an assist from a friend or I need to flatten this out. I need to take it back off and then flatten it out. I just want to get it together so I can, so I can test it. So... Here's the uh, 
here's the buttons already on the cab. So hopefully that'll make all the connections um, and be okay. So let's see here. Um, I think guys, it might be, I think it might be moment of truth time. So let's see. Huh? Uh, well, I mean, you're gonna kind of be in there. Uh, ultimate features, player one, blah blah blah, blah 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 blah. Power on. Do that. Do that. Do that. Prefer access. Okay, cool. Lucky box. Whatever. 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 Okay. Sign in and do that stuff. Okay, cool. All right. So I think it's. I think it's time. I think it's time. I think it's time. Oh, cool. Actually, it comes with the rest of the hardware uh, to do the thing where, you know, it prevents the the tipping of the things. Oh, is that, wait, what's that? Some other thing? Tight. Insert. Insert that. Uh, you almost need, like, yeah. I think it's there because like you might be able to order other ones and then change them out. Oh, am I supposed to put that inside of that? Oh, that's weird. So I'm supposed to put this other thing on there. Yeah, I know. I'm, we're going we're going to get there, but apparently I made it. I made an oopsie. So you're supposed to put this piece right here on this other thing and then connect it. I don't get it. It's weird, right? That's that's super weird. Are people clamoring to turn it on? Yeah, yeah. There then. Huh? Get on it then. Well, I want to. I want to do it right. Pretty cool. I'm as impatient as you all. I just want to see if that thing turns on. Alright. So. So, yeah, you have to. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. No, that, make, that makes absolutely no sense. That doesn't make any sense at all. Remove L1. Yeah. Oh, I guess I guess you need this. I guess you need this when you're trying to use it directly with just this outside of the cabinet. And you want to put the buttons back on. I think that's what it is. So. Oh. Pizza's hot. Hi, Pete. Could you get him to turn that on, please? I mean, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Do you want to help me? Sure. Do you want to pull that out of the box? Or... This? Yep. Oh, it's the power cable. Yep. Where are we plugging it in? Um, there's a... Over by the drum kit. Uh -huh. On the other side, there's a... There's a connector. So we're just going to... Put it on top of it. You have to bend over because I'm not able to get out. No. Alright. We're good. We're good. Try the Wi-Fi. See if it. See if it likes it. If it doesn't, 
do. Alright. Now I'm yawning. <laughs> We have lights. All right. And you're three hours behind, yeah. All right. Looks like we're, looks like we're booting. We're booting up. Oh. Yeah. All right. Um, Please sign in or sign off with an Arcade Net account to register and activate your home arcade. All right, cool. It is alive. It is. Um, all right. So wants me to it wants me to sign in. Can I hit cancel? Yeah, let's let's cancel for now, and then we'll uh, we'll do that later. We got all this stuff here. All right, all games. Let's uh, let's let's go through the let's go through through some of these games. Oh, <laughs> Danae, you were yawning. I was yawning. Yes, you were yawning. You were yawning. Yes, I all right. was. So we got 3D tic tac toe. Uh oh, eight eyes, eight eyes on the on the uh, on the arcade machine. It's uh it's like a it's like a. A, a mixture of all the at games things and an Evercade, right? Um, got Earsy Battle, Disney's Aladdin, Alpine Ski, Adventure, Adventure 2. I didn't know there was an Adventure 2. That's weird. Air Calvary, Aqua Venture, it's on here. Apocalypse 2, looks like an Asteroids clone. Um, you got Asteroids, Asteroids Arcade, Asteroids Deluxe, Atari Baseball, Arabian Magic, all sorts of stuff. I'm not going to read them all because there's 300 games on here. Um, but, uh, where is it? Where is, where is it? I'm looking for, uh, there's Breakout, Breakthrough. No way! Dude, there's Brave Battle Saga on this thing. That's crazy. Why is there an RPG on an arcade machine? <laughs> That's awesome. I, I like, I mean, it's cool, but also what? Um, all right, cool. Burger time. There it is. There it is. Burning rubber. Burning rubber. Select. Let's play. Alright, maneuver and jump. Alright, cool. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Alright, insert coin. Uh, start plus down. The speakers are pretty nice. Good times. I bit it. I bit it. Oh no. Oh no. Ah. Oh. Right in the drink. All right. Got on the board though. Oh, 
There we go. There's a the menu. Alright. Um, quick game. <clears throat> that was pretty cool, right? Yeah, it does sound great. Alright, so let's see let's see what else we got on here. Good dash is on here. Centipede. Let's get some more stuff on here. Um Dodge him. No way. Yo, Pete, Dragon View is on here and Draken is on here. Would they just put the, the Pico collection in here? That's crazy. All right, what else we got? Oh, wait. Fix it, Felix Jr. I wonder if there's like settings where you can like tone down the the uh whatchamacallit. <laughs> Quick game button mapping. No. Alright. I don't wanna many resist that. Pretty good. That's hot. That's hot, Mike. Jeez. Oh. Clearly, I am not good at this game. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. There's got to be, maybe there's a, like a master setting in here. Well, that's cool. So it's got like regular like device name for like networks and stuff. You got uh, you know like wireless Ethernet and uh, and the wireless uh, Mac and the UID and all that kind of stuff. Um, what kind of storage is on here? So it's only a two. Looks like it's a three twenty gig, uh, three twenty megabyte uh, hard drive. User available storage is only one hundred twenty meg. Uh, but it's not bad because it's like, you know, like, you're, what are you going to do? You're just going to keep throwing ROMs on here. 120 meg is not bad. Um, but it's got that USB interface, so you can just kind of, like, throw it in there. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> All right, Brother Mike. We got, uh, we want to see the goods. We want to see uh, Star Wars and Tron. All right, we got, we got you. Um, yeah, I know. Like, I don't, I, I don't think we can, though. UI interface, attract mode, clock, startup page. Control mirroring. No. What? Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, oh, my goodness gracious me. What's what's that I see here? Uh, light gun calibration? Oh, oh, we're, some we're, 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 we're going to find some uh, light gun calibration going on because I got some light guns down here. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, my. That's I am super psyched about that right now. Um, all right, cool. So let's go. Let's go back. Can I go back? There, yeah. There's got to be a way to turn it down. But I right now I'm not like, man. Iron Commando. No, God. There's Jim Power on this. There's Jim Power on this thing. Like it, it's like all right. And Joe and Mac, Karate Champ. What is that? Legend. Uh, oh, cool! Lock and Chase, the arcade game. That's pretty cool. Uh, Magical Drops on here. Uh, Magical Drop three, and the first one it looks like. Not two. Not two. Well, Magical Drop two is on the uh, the Evercade. So, Midnight Resistance is on here. Millipede, Mission X. Oh, cool! Mission X on here. For all you guys, uh, and television fans out there. 
Mission X. Good time. Nightshades on here. <laughs> when you want to play an arcade game about how to how to like uh, escape um, getting off of a you know, being tied to a chair, we have to burn you burn the ropes off. Um, all right, cool. What else we got on here? Operation Wolf. Wait, Operation Wolf is straight up a light gun game, I think. Operation Thunderbolt is definitely a light gun game. So there's got to be a way to hook one up. And the USB, I'm sure the, the top USB um, could do that. Oh, there's par Power Pigs on here. Power Punch 2. We just, we just literally talked about that today. It's pretty crazy. Yo, Tari Creep. What's going on? What else we got? Kicks. Radical Rex. Rastan. And all sorts of stuff. Wait. Tari Creep, did you know that there was a return to Haunted House? I did not. That's really cool. Oh, headed to bed? Want to pop in? Alright, cool. Well, you know, check it out. <laughs> um, and thanks for stopping in, man. All three sword quests around here? That's that's a weird that's a weird pull for uh, for having it on here. Um, but I mean I'll take it. I've never played Waterworld. Because then you could like, you know, figure out the the game and like do all the stuff. There was a the, so so sword so the sword quest series was kinda like um uh whatchamacallit? Uh, okay. it was kinda like uh uh, you know, Ready Player One before Ready Player One. There was like a, a, a game that came out and you had to like solve the puzzle. And you could get like fabulous prizes or whatever. And they actually had like a, you could win a, um, like a, a, a big thing. Um, you know, like an actual sword and like a shield or like a chalice and stuff. It was pretty cool. Um, all right, cool. Here we go. Here it is. Wow. They're using every single one of these buttons. Special, look up, jump, weapon select, look down. Alright. We're going for it. I mean, these speakers are pretty dope. There it is. Instantly demonetized. Don't care. Channel's not monetized anyway.
Now I gotta say, one, it's cool to play Star Wars on a cabinet, and two, um, it's uh, it's pretty tight. The controls are nice, the buttons are responsive. I don't see any delay. Um, it's uh, it's really cool. Um, you know, like well done. So and so far, like nothing I see um, any any kind of like any kind of error, any kind of like craziness with the. Um, with the emulation, I'm not seeing anything that's really bad. So, um, super happy for you know, like early, early, uh, early indications. All good, all great times. Um, so let's quick game. We'll give uh, give brother Mike his uh, his uh, his other game. We're gonna go. We're gonna go for Tron, and then um, and then I think after that I might uh, I might wrap this up after Tron. So, um, let me see here. <clears throat> Super breakout. Wait. Where's Tron? Hey. Where's Tron? Is it featured? Games. <laughs> the immortal and the humans both on here. Uh, Way of the Exploding Fist. We just talked about that today on Evercast. I was on here. Top Razors is on here. Top Razor 2 is on here too. That's pretty cool. There it is. There it is. There it is. All right. Caught. Alright, I'm no good at Tron either, but it is cool to play it, and it's cool to see it on this, on this, uh, on this thing here. So what else was there? Oh well, the Jar Jar Binks of Star Wars games. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, Super Star Wars is pretty cool, I like that. I mean, it, it, it doesn't hold a candle at all, like zero, zero candles does it hold to um, Star Wars Trilogy Arcade by Sega. Um, that is quite possibly... Um, maybe my second favorite arcade game of all time. Uh, only second to Hard Driving um, by Atari because that's my favorite. It's my favorite arcade game of all time. Um, but uh, yeah, this thing's cool. It's a, it's real rad. You know, we've got, um, oh, actually, you know what? I probably could have used a spinner instead of the, the stick uh, to move around. I forget if Tron had that. And then I got to find another game that Jake purely uses the spinner. 
I didn't see any like Arkanoid or anything like that. I'm a breakout. We'll definitely use it. Um, and super breakout. So I'll be testing those later. Um, and then the cool thing about the cab is there is a nice, um, wide area, um, in the bezel here, um, where I can put my camera mount. Um, and we could do some like over the shoulder, like my viewpoint action on the, uh, on the cabinet. So even if I can't capture direct footage, I could actually capture, um, you know, exactly what I'm playing. Um, and then, uh, just mic myself up and we could do some gameplay vids, um, uh, from me playing right on the cabinet, uh, which would be pretty neat. Uh, if you guys want to see or hear anything like that, uh, let me know too. Um, but, uh, yeah, unless anyone else has anything else, I think we're, we're going to wrap this up. Oh man. Yeah. It is 1130. So yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's sleepy time. It's definitely sleepy time for me. So anyway, um, <clears throat> so there you have it guys. We put together the At Games uh, Legends Ultimate Cabinet. It is, on first first blush, a pretty awesome piece of hardware. Um, very impressed with the build quality. Um, very impressed with uh, the fact that you know it just turns on and you just play. Um, I really want to deep dive into the the rest of the features of this, and um, you know like maybe we'll do like a maybe I'll do a vid where I shoot I shoot like um, me setting up my my account or or. Uh, you know, like how the, how these, you know, all these other features like the, ex, you know, connected play and leaderboards and all that stuff works. Um, we'll do some vids on that and, um, you know, and check it out. So, um, if you guys like this stuff, um, give it a thumbs up. Um, you know, if you want to see more of this stuff when it goes, uh, I'm going to let it, um, I'm going to let it like live, uh, straight up. I'm just going to, I'm probably not even edit this. I'm just going to let it ride. Um, hit me up in the comments and be like, yo, I want to see more um you know and check it out if you guys want to see more live streams again hit me up in the comments and be like yo do some more of this um because it was cool uh, it was really awesome hanging out with you guys um i definitely appreciate everyone that's still hanging out and and uh and viewing and um you know i, I guess uh until next time we will catch you next time for some good times this is rich and uh we'll see you later guys good night Ugly isn't here. His ears cleaned. Oh no. Gotta go clean those ears. <laughs>